so as to change your virtual location on your iPhone you need to make use of a software called Inigo that comes from the house of iTulab. And talking about the software itself, the Enigo is a reliable and effective tool to change the virtual location of a device instantly. This works really very well with location based apps such as Pokemon Go, Tinder, Snapchat and many more. The software is available for both Windows and Mac and the link to the software is in the description down below so don't forget to check that out. Once you install and run the software, click on start to get started. Next up, choose the OS, iOS or Android. Then go ahead by connecting your iPhone to Mac so that the software recognizes it. Once it shows up here, just select it and tap next. Once it loads up the entire map with your current location, on the top right, you get to see other location changing modes that the software has to offer. And in this video, I'll take you through all four of them. By using the first tool to change location, all you need to do is just search the name of any state, any city and even the name of any country that you can think of. And for this video, let me type Germany. Once you are done searching and selecting, tap go. As an outcome, you will see the effect of change in location not only on your Mac's screen but also in the real time location of a Snapchat map. Like previously, the map showed that I was in India and now my virtual location has moved to Germany. So that's how it works. This tool helps one change location from point A to point B. And while using this one, along with your current location, you need to select one more location on the map for the software to take it as an endpoint. Before you click go, you can play with settings like tick or unrealistic speed option. Even change the number of loops. And just after you click go, you will see the change in location happening from point A to point B, not only on your Mac's screen, but also you can see the virtual you move in the same directional way. And also you can even increase or decrease the speed of the movement which will show an immediate effect. The next tool for spoofing the location is the multiple spot movement which means you can absolutely customize your route in real time. So from the point of start just go ahead tapping on different lanes, cities or even countries in such a way that it creates a sort of route. And once you are done you can play with certain settings like change the number of loop tick or untick the realistic speed option and finally click go. As an outcome you will not only see your iPhone's location getting changed but also see the virtual you moving in the same way which is actually pretty cool. Moreover increasing or decreasing the speed will show an immediate effect. By making use of this one, you can make your avatar jump and teleport to the next chosen location without actually taking any sort of time. To make use of this, first off, on the map you need to start tapping the places that not only you would like your avatar to teleport to but also so that the software takes it as one of the locations. Once done, tap go. Here you will be prompted with a message. If you don't tick the box and click go, you will have to change the location manually by tapping to the next button again and again. But if you tick the box and then tap go, the location will change instantly after the avatar reaches the previous location. Once done, click go. And that's it. Now you can see the virtual you jumping and teleporting to one location after another. What's really unique about the software is that you can make use of the virtual joystick to change the direction no matter what mode you are using. You can even use it to play or pause the virtual movement of yours. Just in case at any point of time if you wish to get back to your default real life location all you need to do is just tap the icon present over here. Doing that will bring it back to your real location. Well that's pretty much it for this video. Now go ahead and give the Enigo software a try. And if you found the video useful drop a like and subscribe to the channel for more such videos. See you in the next one.